Hey there, Capricorn. Hope you guys' this weekend is good to you guys. Happy Easter to you guys. Let's find out what the cards are saying and what's coming out for you guys is highest good at this time. This is going to be from my beautiful sign of Capricorn. It's for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn, please. Capricorn. Confusion. Two more. Two more. Avoidance. One more. Oh, hanky panky energy. Heartbreak. Okay, so somebody clearly tried to get somebody to avoid somebody here. Somebody's confused because somebody is now avoiding somebody here. Somebody said that somebody was sleeping around with someone still. Somebody's heartbroken, figuring out that the that's not the truth here. Something about your dreams is significant at this time. Your dream life coming true. Your, your dream person headed your way. Definitely paying attention to your dreams at this time. It's overall energy for Capricorn. Judgment. So, first off, there's some like... Oh, man, there's heavy karma here. Somebody's getting a very heavy dose of karma. Somebody's trying to avoid their karma. Somebody's confused because somebody... Something didn't happen the way somebody thought it was going to. There's a judgment call being called. And then you got somebody trying to come back here and reconcile. We have our own unique path and challenges, and we understand that. That's why we stay in our own lane, and we work on ourselves, and we apply the lessons and move forward here. Somebody didn't like the judgment call being called on their life for trying to mess with your life. And then grief. So somebody did everything in their power to cause a lot of grief and pain in your life. We understand that these opportunities are... At times to appreciate appreciate ourselves and move forward here. Somebody thought that you were going to be operating out of grief and pain. Somebody's now feeling grief for what they've done to you, man. I keep getting karma here. Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay. So about to fall in love. So there's something here about somebody tried to get somebody to avoid you in the love department. Somebody's confused because there's still like a love offer headed your way here and somebody doesn't like that. Somebody didn't want somebody to comprehend something here. And somebody can't comprehend why their life is falling apart. Somebody is not happy with the choices that they made when it comes to you. Somebody wants to be honest with you now. Somebody wasn't honest with somebody about you. And now somebody wants to open up and be honest with you. Somebody doesn't like this enthusiastic energy that you have to face the world here. Somebody for sure thought that you were operating in your grief and pain still, and you clearly not. Like, you've had this rebirth energy. That's why that judgment card's there, too. Thank you. So there's something about your rebirth energy that's significant, too. So embracing these challenges, knowing that it made you the strong person that you are today. Not looking at, at it looking at it as a victim mentality, but just looking at how strong you are. Somebody doesn't like this enthusiastic energy that you've had that you have headed your way here because you kept staying in that positive energy no matter what was thrown at you. This person tried to say that you think that you're all that, they're this, they're that. That's how you feel about themselves. This person tried to get someone to look at you in a bad lighting here, and that ain't working out anymore. The truth only shows part of it. So somebody's realizing that somebody lied about you, lot, calls a lot of lies and deception about you here. So, like, half-truths. So, this person or these people may have had, like, little bits of the truth about your life, but they really, like, went hard and, like, created more false narratives about you. Capricorn. So, someone doesn't like that you're focused. Something about your energy where somebody tried to do everything in your their power to cause you confusions and get you to step off of your path here. But you stay focused on your ideals and you bring them into fruition and somebody's confused. Because somebody knows that something didn't work out here and it's going to be backfiring on them. So, grounding energy. Solidly grounded. No matter what is happening around you, you remain, you remain stable and secure. So, somebody didn't... And somebody thought they knocked you out of this grounding energy. Somebody didn't think that you were going to be remaining stable and secure. And you clearly are. I feel like somebody else is about to get knocked out of their secure energy because they tried to mess with yours. And then inspiration. So you, something about you expressing yourself artistically or you could be posting things online here. But somebody doesn't like that you have this creative inspiration and you let your beautiful energy just flow through you. Like this is someone that... Someone didn't want you to be looked at as an inspiration, and you clearly are. And somebody's confused because 
what was meant to, like, the slander and the gossip that was meant to destroy your character has only made you more of an inspiration. This is also about using your story and what you've been through in life to inspire others. So if you're like me, I have a story to tell and I want to tell my story and I want to help others grow and evolve and, and reach higher levels of consciousness. So that's what it's all about. Success. So connecting with your higher self before you taking action. So t everything that you touch turns to abundance and success. So somebody really tried to knock you off of your success. Something about there, it's an energy of, of confused because you're still successful. You're still abundant here. So that's why these energies are like, what is going on? Because they know that there's some kind of judgment call coming back for them. What needs to be surrendered for Capricorn, please? What needs to be surrendered for Capricorn? Bring that back out. Surrender for Capricorn. Surrender procrastination. So somebody tried to get you in this energy where you weren't doing anything for yourself. They wanted you to have a lack mindset. They wanted to truly, really try to knock you off your course. So there's something, you could have some kind of goal that you want to do for yourself. Now is the time to jump on it. So somebody doesn't like that you are no longer procrastinating your journey here. So somebody really wanted you to focus on or have someone else focus on your downfalls here. But you kept it pushing. You kept going over every challenge that was meant to take you out. Someone doesn't understand why you're not procrastinating here. Surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. So if something isn't manifesting as, as fast as you want it to, just trust the universal flow. So that divine timing is a thing. Sometimes we don't have people, or let me say that again, sometimes we have the wrong people around us at the time and you know, our blessings aren't meant to come in because there's people or there's a mindset. There's a, there's a bigger reason for everything. So just trust the process and let everything line up for you right when it's would right when it's meant to. Now there's something here that was supposed to happen to you that someone is confused because they thought for sure that something would have played out by now. But you're just sitting here just living your best life. So somebody's freaking out like something's not working like it's supposed to. So somebody's panicking right now. Surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. So when negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and refocus your thoughts on positive affirmations. Somebody doesn't like that you're no longer like in a negative mindset. So that's about purging an old belief system out and just really welcoming new changes in and just knowing that miracles do happen because they do. Tell you about confusion. Somebody could have tried to like cast something your way to keep you stuck in like a negative mindset, but that didn't work either. So... You keep overcoming challenges here for yourself. Tell me about confusion. Someone's confused. Yeah. <laughs> Someone tried to send some kind of uh, magic your way, but this person's confused because this is what this energy's realizing or these energies that were involved. Like, you're very powerful too. And there's that infinity symbol. So what goes around comes back around. So all this darkness that they tried to send this high priest or this high priestess or these this high priest or high priestess that got involved in trying to do this, it's all coming back to you, sir, man. And there's something about you transmuting energy. Like, you know how to, you're an alchemist. You know how to transmute that darkness here. You use that energy to your advantage here. And we return all that dark energy back to sender here. And there's something about your high-ranking energy that someone's confused about. So somebody is realizing that you're a force to be reckoned with here. All the illusions, the gossip, and the slander, the lies, and the deception that was sent out to confuse you or other people about you is not adding up here. Someone tried to send some kind of confusion spells your way, some kind of chaotic energy here, and it's not, that ain't, the math ain't mathing. So, somebody here for sure thought that they won this game here. You put your sword down and walked away, and somebody did everything they could to bend and twist the truth about you. This is a, a, a hothead. This is a, a very angry person that isn't happy with themselves. So they got to seek to destroy other people because they're not happy with themselves. Very manipulative. You put your sword out and walked away and someone's confused. Now look at that. Somebody really tried to get in your energy here. And look at that. Like you're very protected. Like your ancestors are like back up, back, 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 back. So somebody done met their match by trying to come for you. So let me say it like that. So you are heavily protected here. Heavily. Somebody didn't realize how, how, how much of an army of a spiritual team that you have here. Well, they're going to learn the hard way. And somebody doesn't like that you have these boundaries with them now. So keep enforcing these boundaries. See, you kept your head held high. You kept moving forward. 
nothing that they try to do to you is, is victorious. Like you kept your head held high and you're moving forward towards your success. And something about not not giving someone attention either is confusing them as well. So something about a marriage dynamic, something about a home life here. Someone could have tried to have been sending something to your home to make your home chaotic here. Something about a, a, a faulty foundation that's been crumbled down and you're building up a better one for yourself and someone's confused by that. And there you are. There's like a high-ranking spiritual person here. Somebody's confused about your ranking here. Somebody had to learn the hard way by trying to come for you, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, somebody tried to end you. All they did was end themselves. And somebody's confused because this ending ain't happening. It's not going to happen. This is what you got coming back for you. So embrace that. That's what you wanted for yourself. Turn about avoidance. Somebody's confused because you've ended something and you're not turning your back either. So you're moving on. So somebody is trying to move away from what they did to you. Somebody is trying to avoid their karma. You cannot. You reap what you sow. So somebody knows that you're avoiding them and you're just moving on to your best life here. Tell me more. Yeah. Somebody feels like a fool for trying to mess with you, man. I'm telling you. You've got new beginnings coming in. So that's why you're clearly avoiding these energies. You're moving forward. <laughs> Somebody tried to stop your new beginnings here. And somebody is trying to run from their karma. You cannot. Five of Pentacles. Somebody wanted you to be left out in the cold. Lacking. Not doing good financially here. And clearly you are. Somebody doesn't want to receive the same energy that they tried to give back to you. Like you're leaving this person out in the cold. And somebody is now about to be dealt the hand that they wanted to give you. So somebody knows that you're not taking this offer back anymore. Like this is about wanting better for yourself. This is the type of energy, if you don't re receive their offer, they'll go run off and go pout and cry to someone else and tell that other person how terrible you are to them because you brewed their ego. Oh, it'll be okay. Somebody doesn't like how powerful you are. Somebody's trying to avoid somebody else because of you. So there could be like a new person that is like avoiding someone else because they're trying to come towards you because there's like a, a very jealous energy and there's like somebody trying to avoid their, their magic here that they tried to cast to you, man. <laughs> somebody doesn't like how powerful you are. Oh, well, that's who we are. Somebody didn't realize how powerful you are. Somebody knows that you're holding back and something about something is being held back and being returned to sender. They can't avoid what they've done. And there's that infinity symbol. What goes around comes back around. And somebody burdened now because they know that they done stepped their foot in a big old pile of crap is what this person's done. You've done laid your burdens and your baggage down, and that's why you're avoiding these energies. You're done with this. You transmitted that energy and you laid it down. Tell me about hanky panky. So somebody said that you were sleeping around. Someone could still be sleeping with someone else. Tower. Someone's having a tower moment. Somebody could have contracted an STD because someone could have said that you have one. Someone's having a tower moment because somebody's realizing something here. There's a judgment call, man. I'm telling you. Somebody is under heavy judgment for how they slandered you. And somebody's trying to come back and somebody's still sleeping with someone. And now someone is going back and forth how to get back into your life here. Because this is someone that for sure thought they sunk your ship. And you're getting out of it. And they, the ship that they're on is sinking. So someone someone said that you sleep around. Like you, you, you entertain third party energies when you're in a connection. Whether there's a marriage involved or no marriage involved. There is actually an energy here that does do this. This is someone that thinks that they think that marriages and like vows, they don't take vows seriously, but that's how they tried to make you look like. Now you're definitely in this energy where you're not to be played with. There's something about your intelligence where you're speaking your truth and it's something about somebody's confused because you're airing out someone's dirty laundry. Yeah, someone's confused. Somebody tried to cause a lot of confusion and chaos in your life. Try to say that you had all these options. And then somebody waited at a crossroads to see if it was going to stick. But you're going down a different path. And someone's seeing something for what it is now. The truth always comes out. Somebody doesn't like that you pull your energy back and you see the truth for what it is. And somebody's clearly seeing the truth here. Tell me about heartbreak for uh, Capricorn. King of Pentacles. So somebody wanted somebody to say that you were a heartbreaker. And some of you guys are going towards a new connection here. And somebody's about to be heartbroken because there's a very established person here that's got their stuff together. This is like a family man, a family woman that is interested in you. And somebody's heartbroken. Somebody wanted someone to say that you were a heartbreaker. Tell me more. 
Yeah, somebody here celebrated this a little bit too soon. Somebody for sure thought they got the the one up on you. Now you're about to have the victory and the success because somebody looks at you as an inspiration. Admirable. Somebody here sees all the hard work that you've done on yourself, the investments that you're making on yourself, and somebody definitely looks at you as an inspiration. Ow. And somebody's heartbroken because somebody wants to invest into you still. So somebody here is trying to figure out a way to have a conversation with you. And somebody's heartbroken because you've cut something out. Like you're you're in this very logical energy where you're just slicing and dicing anybody out that's not for your highest good. And somebody is now in their head stressing, worrying, and fear and anxiety. Because this person did everything in their power to keep you stuck. But here comes that person with this love offer regardless. I'm telling you. So this is this energy and the people that were involved, they're under heavy judgment. This is about keeping your head held high and moving forward. And then you've got somebody new coming towards you. And something about generational wealth is significant. Financial freedom. This is about disconnecting from any type of uh, relationship that's in your life. Whether it's love, family, friends. Getting rid of that. Going towards the right connection. And there's somebody here that wants to build with you. Yeah, somebody here wants a connection with you. And somebody's heartbroken now because you're still getting that. Tell me about dreams for Capricorn. Tell me about dreams for Capricorn. Bring that back out, dreams. The Empress. So there's a lot of new beginnings coming toward you. It's like a dream life coming your way. So it's almost like you, you could be getting some kind of downloads in your dreams, but you're attracting everything towards you. And somebody looks at you as their dream guy, their dream girl here. Tell me more, dreams. So building and collabing with new things. Something about your career on the rise. This is about pulling the right people towards you. And somebody is seeing something for what it is here. And somebody wants to work on things with you. Like, this is someone that looks at you as their dream guy, their dream girl. There's an offer. So, there's like, an, a, there, there's like an, a, a, a love offer headed your way. There's something that's going to make you happy here. There could be apologies coming in from the past. So, somebody here sees that they didn't stop nothing. Like, your ships are still coming in regardless. Somebody thought... That they, something about patience and someone thought that they had you where they wanted you, but they didn't win nothing. They just won some stupid games because they played some stupid, or they won stupid prizes because they won, played some stupid games. There's that justice. These scales are being balanced out. So this is like, this is like, um, like I'm telling you, there's something about karma here. Somebody tried to get in the way of your dream life here and these scales are balancing out and the ancestors want justice here. And somebody is now looking at things in a different lighting here. So this is about shifting your perspective and knowing that you deserve all the success and this love for yourself. And somebody is looking at you in a whole different light now. I've got water, Virgo, Gemini. I've got Pisces, Air, Aries, Scorpio, Scorpio again. Earth, Earth, Water, Earth, Libra, Taurus, and Earth here. So your dream life manifesting, your dream guy, your dream girl coming in. Somebody wanted someone to, to be rejected, not have something here. There's like a past energy that now feels rejected. They shattered because they can't believe what they, they did all this, this dirt throwing, we'll call it. And all it did was make you grow. Something here about giving yourself the closure. Somebody didn't expect for you to move on away from them and not need them, like not need to have a final talk. Somebody may want to try to have the final talk. Somebody tries to shame you. Don't let them do that. Somebody wants to make you feel bad because you're moving away from them. Don't let them do that. I wouldn't even have to talk with this person. They show their true colors. Move on. You don't have to uh, have a final talk with someone to, to move on with your life. Like People only want to do that so they can manipulate their way back in. Capricorn. So following the signs, you could be seeing repeated numbers, animals. Just pay attention at this time. You are never alone, just so you know that. And knowing that everything that didn't happen, like it's not an accident or a coincidence that all of this has played out for you. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you. Change your mindset. Tell me more. So something here about a comfort zone, stepping out of your comfort zone. Somebody could have tried to have you stuck, isolate you, and that didn't work. All it did was make you go within and, didn't, and just really evolve more. So... Somebody didn't want somebody to feel like home to them. And something about security is important. And there's that divine assistance. There's a Midas touch that you have. So everything that you touch turns into success, love, abundance. So and you're attracting the right people towards you. So there's something about these celestial realms. Something about you being like, is this like something that's like very like 
like ethereal, otherworldly, like just really like, like you're really tapped in. Like you're just all about like, man, I'm getting chills. Like you're very tapped in. Tell me more. Tell me more. So someone said that you were a procrastinator, that you were lazy, you didn't make efforts on yourself, but or somebody wanted you to be in this energy, and you clearly aren't doing that. You're still going after your goals here. So if you're like me, like I don't, I'm not out of the house all the time. I'm in my house. I don't like to be around people. I've stayed in myself. And if that makes me lazy, then oh well. So <laughs> you are refreshing new energy. So interesting, stimulating, and you got a pleasantly different person coming towards you so it's like you it's like you've dealt with a certain amount of people your whole life um and now it's like time for a new energy to come in and there's like a new person that looks at you as like you're different from the rest a secret admirer right here so you could have more than one eyes on you especially if you're posting things in the spotlight so you definitely got some eyes and there's you're definitely unaware about somebody's feelings here somebody definitely wanted to come towards you tell me more somebody tried to, to steer an admirer away from you yeah, somebody feels like time is running out. They feel in the pressure. Oh, yeah, you are. Because guess what? You got some stuff coming towards you. Somebody didn't want you to... Um, somebody didn't want you to have something here. Somebody feels like something needs attention because the time's running out. Somebody tried to say you were high maintenance. You had these high standards. Never satisfied. Hard to please. That's how you feel about yourself. So... Let me tell you, when people can't cross your boundaries and they can't manipulate you, they'll say that you're, they'll put titles on you and they'll say you're crazy. They'll say that you're high maintenance, you're this, you're that. They think you're all that. It's because you have boundaries. Enforce those boundaries. Your confidence is irritating somebody's demons. Oh, well. Success and enthusiastic energy, that optimism and that fulfillment is still coming in for you. And somebody's mad. Like, go to her face. Like, how dare you continue to be successful? How dare you? Somebody wanted to try to tip somebody away from towards you. Someone said that you were weak, that you were you, you just entertained anything here. Somebody fell into temptation by trying to come for you too. So you're healing your heart. You're opening up your heart space, healing that emotional pain, preparing for, for union with a new person or just preparing for yourself in general. Capricorn. You're too busy winning, man. You're over here just winning, loving life. Embracing all that success headed your way, keeping that focus, and someone trying to do everything in their power to keep get you hooked in your feelings, and it ain't working. And then the person's creeping, watching, and you can, there's like a new person here that is watching you, like they watching in the background, and they you got this person hooked. Tell me more. That one in reverse. So somebody wanted you analyzing everything, and you're not. Somebody doesn't like that you're not in your head and stressed like they wanted you to. <laughs> no, you're hustling. You're just. Making it rain, loving life, calling towards you what's yours here. Some of you guys could be moving or planning on moving or have. And somebody's threatened. Somebody did everything they could to bother you and threaten you and they wanted to intimidate you, but this is how they feel about themselves. They threaten. They don't understand how everything that they did to try to ruin you is not working. Trying to get some kind of photo proof, some kind of evidence on your life. Tell me more. My car's having car issues. Somebody car could get repossessed. Somebody's car could not start. Somebody could get into a car wreck. You got to be careful when you head towards people with ill intentions because the ancestors will turn your car off. Your car won't start. You might even get thrown into a car accident. So you might want to watch yourself. Tell me more. Moving on. Moving on. Uninterested. Divination abuser. So somebody's definitely doing something here to try to, to disrupt your life here with spell work. Somebody tried to say that you were a divination abuser when you are not. This is like a very dark person that tried to paint you out in a dark lighting here. Somebody has been either paying somebody or they're part of something to try to like, like someone is, was abusing their power trying to ruin your life here. And that's all adding up, adding, adding up. Going back to them. A grudge holder. Somebody's holding a grudge. And it's like they wanted to recruit a bunch of people to, to hold grudges with you because they all got to sit there and stroke each other's egos because they all big babies inside. So that's what these people do. Forcer. This is someone that tries to force their way back into your life. Tries to, if they can't force their way back into your life, they'll try to force other people's, they'll try to force their views onto other people. And these scales are balancing out. 
So there could be some kind of legalities. It could be a divorce. There could be some kind of court issues that are getting ready to take place. And these groupie energies were like recruited to try to try to get in your head or like trying to like bring these groupies towards you just to cause you a lot of conflict, but you didn't mind them any business. These people could be trying to copy you and things. You got to be a very powerful person to have a whole group of people try to come for you. Just, just remind that. Remind yourself of that. Yeah, some of these groupies are trying to impersonate you. Wanting to be you, wanting to act like you, copy your mannerisms, dress like you. Just, just These are people that don't have their own sense of self, so they try to copy what you got going on. Just be your beautiful, authentic self. You cannot compete where one does not compare. So, this is a very hateful person or people. Tell me more, Capricorn. They're shocked. The little person's like, they had their breaking point. Shocked. Because all that turmoil and that trouble, they couldn't stop you. Now this is someone at their breaking point watching you. Look at his scrunched up face watching you. Like this is someone that's overwhelmed because they shocked. Everything that was meant to destroy you, you're getting out of. Tell me more. Yeah, look at you. You're excited. Going towards your good times. Just in the flow. Very ecstasy energy that you have. And somebody was hoping that you was going to continue to chase after this. Or you would chase after. But you didn't. You pulled your energy back and stepped into your resilience. And somebody's confused. Someone tried to distract you. Tried to distract somebody else from you. Someone said that you weren't making any changes. Someone did everything in their power to change your fate. These are energies that only ruin their own life by trying to come to you, man. So you're releasing, letting go, moving on, walking away. Somebody doesn't like that you're able just to move away. Somebody doesn't like the way that you're just... And someone tried to tell someone to release you. And someone wanted you to feel withdrawn. Somebody wanted a masculine to withdraw from somebody here. Or you masculines could have withdrawn from someone. Or you dealt with a feminine was operating in their masculine energy. But the whole point of this is that you pulled your energy away. And you just really like... This is an energy or people that were around it that wanted you to be isolated and not have anybody around you. But here's where the, the plot twist happens is this is where you, your magic started taking into place. This is where you really started tapping in, growing, evolving, attracting everything towards you. So all these people did was do you a favor. So you know how to withdraw from people. You don't need to be around anybody to make you feel important. Tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, there it is again. Somebody feels like time's a waste and... Because you're closing out a cycle. And somebody keeps looking at the clock like, man, nothing's happening. That Why ain't it working? Why ain't it working? Because it ain't going to work, you dummy. It's going right back to you, sir ma'am. So, you're building a solid foundation. Letting that faulty foundation crumble and building yourself up. Something about a family dynamic is significant for somebody here. Somebody didn't want you to have security. Somebody didn't want you to lay a foundation out with somebody better. So it's like it's like a jealous energy that tried to get in the way of your destiny. Tried to get somebody to look at you and uh and like wanted to block you out. Someone tried to block your emotions. Somebody wanted to give somebody mixed signals about you. About a new beginning here. Because you're going in a new direction. And now you've got somebody trying to come back here for you. Continue releasing, purifying, cleansing your energy. Somebody doesn't like that you're this free spirit energy. You're, you've made it out of some situations that were meant to destroy you. And there's that divine masculine energy. So it's like balancing out both your feminine and your masculine energy and finding your yin to your yang here. Somebody wanted to take that from you because you're clearly in your nurturing energy, attracting things towards you. And somebody's getting the clarity about who their person is. And this is about no longer taking breadcrumbs from past people. Accepting the bare minimum. This is about taking your day, your life, day by day. Somebody was watching day by day to see if something was going to work on you and it's not working. Somebody's watching you take your life back day by day. And this person wants to come back and act like they ain't did what they did. This is someone trying to hold their cards close to their chest. We already know what you did. This is someone trying to come back here with these memories. Trying to confuse you. No, thank you. We already see you for your wicked ways. This is somebody that wanted you to be unclear about something. Wanted someone to be unclear about you. Somebody said that you were very prideful. So this is a very arrogant, ego-driven person that is mad that you're winning here. They wanted someone to... Somebody wanted someone to cling on to the old version of you. Somebody is spying obsessively, wondering why something ain't working. Because it ain't going to work. This person's been watching you grow. Focus on yourself, finding yourself, throw a lot of dirt on your name, and it just made you grow, it made you more beautiful, it made you just stronger. So I'm telling you, there's karma getting ready to send for these people. 
Capricorn. Capricorn. This stressful situation is almost coming to an end. We are sending positive energy, financial help, miracles, and life-changing blessings your way. Your life is about to start move quickly in some areas. Events that seem to have been on hold suddenly propel forward. Move with the flow and be mindful of what needs your attention most. So just make sure that you're only, you know, putting your energy with, with what needs attention at this time. Because when you're getting ready to move forward and advance, that's when past energies will try to come back and mess with you. So just ice them out and move forward. So... All right, beautiful Capricorn, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. I'll see you guys Wednesday. Light and love to you.